Hey, what's up guys? Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. Okay, so over the last few hours, these images hit social media of the new Mondo 12-inch Ultimate Deluxe She-Ra figure. That's right, just when you thought your wallet was safe, just when you thought that you were going to get a breather from dropping $260 just last month on the Mondo Ultimate Deluxe He-Man figure, in comes his sister She-Ra. Now, the pop culture collectibles machine isn't going to be slowing down, guys. It seems that we're getting hit with a storm of premium, high-end, and highly desirable pieces to date. Let's not forget the Mega Snake Mountain brick set, the His Tank from Hasbro Pulse, a couple of giant party wagons out there, all the awesome incoming goodness from Ramon Toy, including their Centurion's John Thunder figure, and somewhere in there is also the Super 7 Thunder Tank, okay, that's still on its way in. Now, one thing I've noticed is that the price range for these collectibles always tends to be within the 250 to 300 range and upwards. However, there's one thing that I can tell you is not going to cost you the price of a new car, and that's the price of a paid membership to this channel right here, the Retro Toys Capades channel. As I've announced in a few videos this week and also in the community pages, I've opened up memberships for this channel as a means of helping it to grow further. That's right guys, this channel needs your kind support to continue to bring you all of the content that you see here. I've set memberships at a single tier at just $2.99 per month. That amount might not seem much, especially after taxes and the cut that YouTube takes, but it's a start. And it's something that I'm committed to seeing through. So if you're enjoying the content here, do take a moment to click on the link that I've provided in the description box to join as a validated member of the Retro Toys Capades channel for just $2.99 per month. In fact, why don't you pause the video right now and go and do that? I mean, why put off till tomorrow what you could do today? Members will have prioritized replies for comments, questions, feedback, and early access to videos here on the channel. And I'll add on more perks if I can think of any more that I can manage. Guys, thank you so much for your consideration. This channel is going to be so much bigger in the time to come, and you guys will be a huge part of what makes that happen. Now, I was looking at the press release for this Mondo Shira figure, and it said that it was going to be open for pre-order for a 48 hour period starting July the 12th. And I had to look at the calendar because July the 12th, that's like today, right? I mean, it's literally July the 12th right now in Malaysia. Uh, you know, I don't know which part of the world you're in right now, but it's probably also July the 12th or maybe hitting there. And it seemed like it's pretty tight, right? I mean, uh, I think when they announced the Mondo uh, Deluxe He-Man figure, there was like a lead time of maybe about, I don't know, five or six days, you know, for you to make up your mind, you know, for you to just like, you know, take in, absorb all the images that you were seeing and then decide if you wanted to get it. Uh, but this one's like literally, you know, you know, they announced it, you know, they put up the pictures and it's straight away available for pre-order. What do you guys think about that? Uh, it's amazing though that, you know, they have so much confidence that this thing is probably just going to be a, a straight up impulse purchase probably. Uh, and it's going for $250, all right? $250. And uh, let's see. Let's see what $250 gets you. And from the looks of the images that we are seeing here, it gets you a ton of accessories. I'm talking about accessories overload. And uh, I think that's pretty much what we've come to expect based on what we've seen Mondo doing for the Deluxe He-Man figure. A surplus of accessories is pretty much within line for a release of this magnitude. But are all of the accessories warranted? All right, are these enough to make you actually spend that amount of money to get this figure? Well, let's get into it. But it's important to note also that this figure is actually, in fact, a two-pack of sorts. Because if you notice, there's also this gremlin-like creature that's packed in there with her. And that is, in fact, her koala slash owl companion known as Cowl. Okay, we're getting the Cowl figure together with this Shira package. And I'm not really sure if there's like a huge clamor out there to get this particular Cowl figure, but uh, it's certainly something that adds value to the set. Whether or not you actually need the figure is another matter altogether. Okay, I would say that uh, probably if we could have done without the Cowl figure and that would have brought down the price of this set by 50 bucks, that would have been great. But let's see what else the set comes with. Now, based on the official listing provided, the Shira 1-6 scale figure includes the Shira figure, but of course, uh, her tiara, her battle tiara, you get a classic tiara, a classic belt, hair bangs, standard hair, sheet opening hair, and then you get a power sword, the power sword sheet, the classic power sword, a shield, 
a battle axe comb, the cowl figure, three pairs of interchangeable hands, and a fabric cape. Now the fabric cape sounds awesome because we sure do love those soft goods fabric capes. Uh, it doesn't appear that her uniform, like the rest of her outfit, is made of soft goods. You know, I don't think that's fabric. But I think that having the outfit made out of hard plastic is pretty much expected because, you know, this ain't a doll, right? She ain't a Barbie doll. We pretty much expect this thing to be made out of plastic anyway. So having a fabric cape is pretty much a bonus. There's a photo here of a guy holding up the Shira doll in his hands just to give you an idea of the action figure's size. It's definitely a very massive and striking looking action figure. It's going to cut a huge presence in your collection once you actually have this thing. No doubt about that. There's something about this photo. There's something about this photo about the guy holding up a Shira action figure doll and it just reminds me of how far we've come because all the way back then in the 80s, Okay, I remember She-Ra was a line that was aimed primarily at girls, okay, at the female audience out there. And it was like a line that guys just didn't want to get into, right? But now we've come so far that we have promotional photos of a guy holding up a She-Ra action figure doll. And you know what? You already had a guy posing for the He-Man action figure the last time around. So why not just do a little bit of gender balancing here? Or you could have a female model instead holding up the He-Man doll and you know then you could have a male guy holding up uh, the Shira doll or something like that okay but it just seems that you know having a guy holding up the Shira action figure this time around is kind of like a clue or like a, a subliminal signal to collectors out there that this line is definitely uh, meant for the male collector as well <laughs> because I think they know that male collectors make up a significant portion of the sales out there. But however, there is also a very large population of females out there who love the Moto brand. I have no doubt about that. I have a lot of them following the channel as well. So maybe, you know, it would be great to see a little bit of balancing here as well. Like you could have a female model holding up a He-Man action figure, all right, for one of the promotional shots. Now this set is no doubt impressive. I am wondering though actually if all the gold that we're seeing here actually does have that really nice gold finishing to it or is it more of just like a flat gold tone? You know, maybe the pictures are making it look a little bit more enhanced. I don't know. But if it does have that sort of like really, you know, sparkly gold finishing to it, then I think that, man, that is one hell of a sick deal, okay, that you're getting here. But overall, I would have to say that there's a couple of things here that I feel are a bit lacking, like the fact that she only comes with one facial expression. No doubt you can switch her hair pieces around to make her face look a little bit different, but her expression is just, you know, it's a good expression. I'm not entirely sold on it the way that she's looking but uh, it's good and the only thing I say about it is just that it's very singular all right I would like to have maybe an alternate maybe one or two extra different expressions they gave us like three hits for the He-Man figure right and compared to the He-Man figure I would say that you're paying $250 for this one the He-Man figure was just 10 bucks more and he gave you the opportunity to create so many different iconic He-Man looks, right? This one is pretty much just, um, it's, well, it's basically one standard look and maybe you're just switching her hair pieces around, you know, adding a few accessories to her, uh, to her main body and that's about it. Uh, you know, the He-Man figure just offered you the opportunity to do so much more. You had so many different armor pieces to go along with the figure and I would say that charging you just 10 bucks lesser than that one uh, it's like, what happened? Okay, what, what is it that happened that made these figures so expensive? Mondo figures used to go for about $165 back in the day, and those were the standard figures that had really good sculpting and came with a fair amount of accessories. Not a whole lot of accessories, just a fair amount of you know, accessories that were actually critical to the figure itself. I don't think that there's a lot of accessories sometimes that you actually even need or that you even use. You don't need like five sets of hands when you're mainly only going to be posing the figure with one particular set of hands, right? But it seems that when it comes to a figure like this, Shira is pretty much an essential purchase for a lot of collectors. And it seems that maybe Mondo just kind of like gave it a premium price. You know, they could have probably charged something more in between, like maybe, I don't know, 200, 220, but it seems that they decided to go with 250. And 250, from what I'm seeing right here, does seem pretty high for what you're getting with this set. Now, one thing that I think is pretty great is that Mondo seems to have extended the pre-order period. It used to be just 24 hours for you to make the order, but now it seems that for this one, they're extending it to 48 hours, and that's fantastic. That's more time that you need to probably put together the cash, 
more time to pester your boss for a raise, you know, stuff like that. Okay, but uh, it, it's great, you know, that I think that a lot of people definitely can't wait to get this figure in their hands. Uh, but let me know what you think about it. I mean, do you think that you know, maybe it's a little bit too soon after the He Man figure? Uh, it seems that. Every month, okay, we're being hit with something that requires us to fork out, like I said, this particular amount of money, right? Like about $300 at a time for one particular premium piece, okay? So it seems that that's the norm. So what we really need to be doing is finding ways to get stacks of $300, okay? Stacks of $300 in place so that you know we're ready okay ready for announcements like this to hit us okay guys so that's the video let me know what you thought of it in the comment section thank you for joining me as always and i'll catch all of you again real soon with more content take care out there